over at home. It just gets worse. <laughs> Mish lost everything when she was... <gasps> it's smutty, smutty, smut, smut, smut. Okay? Smut to the highest degree of smut. So... Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here you're watching Booked on Charity and in today's video we'll be going through my recent book haul. As always I'm going to be sectioning this in terms of where I got the books, whether from publishers, self-bought uh, books or library but this time around I don't have any library books, I only have one book that I bought myself which is a shocker because I always have a lot of books but I haven't actually bought any books this month and the book that I do have to show you it's a book that I bought I think about two months ago and I only picked it up now but yeah so first up let's start with um, the book haul from Penguin Random House they sent me a package was it last week Thing is all my packages go to the office and as you guys know I work from home most of the time so I only I'm only in the office like twice in a week so if I miss the day of delivery then I usually get my packages in the following week uh, but this was sent to me by Penguin YA there's something in here that's moving around let's see what it is so Let's check out what's in this box. Can you see it? Ooh, we've got some gold coin chocolate. I think this is chocolate. I wonder what this means. <laughs> but we've got these uh, gold coin chocolate. There's kids playing outside. I hope it's not too loud. We've got these stickers here. I don't know what this is for. So this is, I guess maybe it's the characters. So we've got Luke Rudy over here we've got Liam Rooney I guess brothers okay we've got Annalise Sutherland we've got Jem this Jem we've got Morgan of course Morgan has tattoos we've got Morgan uh, we've got Katrina Quinn We've got August Sutherland, I guess somebody's a sibling. We've got Jane Quinn, uh, which is probably Annalise Quinn's, was it Annalise? There's a lot of characters, Annalise Sutherland, okay, Carita Quinn, so Katrina. So we'll see, we'll see what this is all about, but uh, these are the characters of a book not sure which book yet <laughs> so we'll find out together um, these penguin YA books they actually for the penguin random house YA book clubs that they run periodically I want to say every month but I don't know if it's every month it is periodically but they send out these boxes and I don't think I got it in time for the the book club but if you do make it in time you can actually join the book club join the discord and read together but we know what the book is because um here's the cover such charming liars by karen and mcmanus i'm back in my thriller era right now i'm currently reading a thriller and i'm enjoying it so looking forward to this one um this is the letter for the book club and then we've got our actual book Ooh, it's a big one uh, here's the book this is such charming liars by Karen M McManus and I guess it forms part of this uh, one of us is lying series which I honestly need to get back into I read one of us is lying I really really enjoyed it um, there's one of us is next one of us is back and I believe those are part of a series and then the rest I want to say are standalones but I stand to be corrected so we've got two can keep a secret which I have the cousins I don't have you'll be the death of me 
I don't think I have that. I'm looking over there because that's where my YA thrillers are. And nothing more to tell, I believe I do have as well. Let me just check if they let us know which ones are part of, okay. So this will be a standalone, which is great. And then I don't have to like go back to the one of us to finish off. So I'm happy about that, that I can just pick this one up um, without having to go through the other books. So it says, Kat and Liam are good at lying. Of course they are. Of course. They learned from the best. For all of Kat's life, it's just been her and her mother, except for when her mom was married for just 48 hours. Not years. For 48 hours to a man with a child of his own, a son named Liam. The two families have been spoken for the past 12 years. Now Kat's mom is a jewel thief trying to go straight and she has one last job, swiping a costly necklace at a billionaire's 80th birthday party weekend. And this time Kat finds a way to make her mother bring her along. But there are other surprise guests. Liam and his father, now a serial scammer, oh but it just gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> now a serial scammer who has his own side sets on a billionaire's family. To get what they want, they all have to pretend not to know one another. When someone at the compound is shot dead, Kat and Liam realize they might be in the killer's house hairs next. In this deadly game of lies, the only way to survive is to find the truth first. Chaos. That's what it sounds like in here. It sounds like utter chaos but i'm looking forward to it um karen m mcmanus is the best-selling author of one of us is lying which is now a tv series and yeah which i haven't watched yet it's on netflix i haven't watched it yet but yeah in front it says fake it till you make it out alive i love i love a, a thriller mystery that will keep me on my toes and i, I have a feeling that this one is gonna do just that so yeah thank you so much to the people at penguin ya for sending me this book the next book i have was sent to me by the people at jonathan ball publishers this cover this cover i mean this cover it's so beautiful it's so beautiful this is a sequel to a book that i do own also actually gifted to me by the people at jonathan ball publishers so i actually have the first book on my radar to read this week i've got the audiobook so i'll be starting it probably today and i can't wait okay i can't wait so the book that i'm talking about is vilest things by chloe gong all right let's just do this a little bit so you guys can see look how beautiful look at the detail look at the detail this is so stunning this girl looks really stunning and she looks deadly at the same time which i absolutely love but i can't wait i can't wait to read this one so because this is the second book in the series i'm not going to read the synopsis of this one However, I will read to you the synopsis from the first book, which is called Immortal Longings, also by Chloe Gong. Chloe Gong is well known for her series, These Violent Delights. So I haven't read that yet. And I'm really hoping that this one is not set in the same world. I don't think that it is. I think it's a brand new series, which I'm like excited for because I don't own These Violent Delights. So I don't want to feel like I'm missing out on something but yeah I'm gonna read the synopsis of this one for you guys so you can get an idea of what you can expect okay it says number one New York Times best-selling author Chloe Gong's adult epic fantasy debut is a fiery collision of power plays spilled blood and romance amidst a set of deadly games every year thousands flock to Sun Air the dangerously dense capital twin cities of the kingdom of Tallinn where the palace hosts a set of deadly games. Those confident in their ability to jump between bodies can enter a fight to the death for the chance to win unimaginable riches. Princess Kala Tiolemi has been in hiding for five years, ever since she murdered her parents to free the people of Tallinn from her tyrannical family. Only one person stands in her way of finishing the job, her reclusive uncle King Kassa. However, she knows he always greets the victor of the games. If she wins, she will finally get the chance to kill him. 
that's not even all of the synopsis okay but that's all i'm going to read because i am like i said planning on picking up this book today tonight me we are here me and this book are going to be together um so that i can prepare myself to read vilest things so i'm really really excited these covers are absolutely stunning stunning i can't wait to read this it's like they said they promised epic okay they promised epic so i'm expecting epic and also i'm in the mood for epic but yeah thank you so much to the people at jonathan ball publishers for sending me vilest things next up i've got a stack of books from the people at pan mcmillan they've been doing the most okay they've been doing the most um these books have been trickling in over the last couple of weeks um the first one i'm going to show you i did unbox this for my tiktok so i should have already uploaded that tiktok so check that out so it is a short story collection by duduzile nolin nguenya and it says you get better with scratch time love and it says this is how you love yourself so this is a short story collection as i mentioned i don't have a lot of short story collections but i'm very happy to to have this one so this is what it looks like on the inside um maybe let's just read one of them it says to meet those as compassionate as i am those as thoughtful as i am those who love the way i love i don't know if i'm supposed to read it how do we read poetry i don't know how we read poetry let's see there's an introduction before you get to love me okay i'm not gonna do the introduction okay i'm gonna read the first one right uh it says before you get to love me i don't know if you read them in continuation but we'll see so it says i returned to myself oh what did i expect to find who could have planted pretty flowers in my garden when i spent all my time watering other people's gardens who could have cleaned the dust off the counter and thrown out all the garbage when I've hardly stayed long enough to know when I needed to declutter? How could I ever forget that I am home? And the next one says, nobody ever told me that I was going to have to constantly fight for myself and that most of those fights will be with myself. It doesn't have to be so hard to feel carefree, safe and simply happy nice okay so yeah this is what you can expect from the book we've got a beautiful photo of a gorgeous duduzile no leading going at the back Okay, let me just read her biography. It says, uh, Duduzile no Lidinguenya is a writer and entrepreneur from Hamanskral, Pretoria, Manabukazi. Former magazine editor and life coach is passionate about mental health and self-development and aims to inspire others to heal and grow in self-love and self-acceptance. She has self-published. Okay two best-selling books um, the first one is things i never said to myself and this time you return to self and then um, she's got a website it's www.noleensaid.com so that's n-o-e-l-e-e-n-s-a-i-d.com um, and then it just explains at the back you get better with love takes you on a journey of embracing vulnerability in its rawest form exploring fears insecurities love experiences and the yearning for acceptance the author weaves a narrative of prose and poetry delving into the heart of human emotion this collection of poetry is a testament to the power of owning one's feelings and thoughts showcasing a delicate balance between personal and universal experiences as a way of symbolizing individual individuality and how we don't have to constrain ourselves to one thing. The author uses lowercase typography and invites you to reflect on your struggles and triumphs. As each page turns, You Get Better With Love offers a comforting reminder that as long as we breathe, there is an opportunity to begin anew. Love yourself fully and embrace the endless possibilities that come with choosing to try again. So that's what you can expect from there and then um we've got a, a novella also on my radar to read this week ah guys i'm so excited and this one is six scorched roses by carissa broadband i've recently read um the nightborn duet uh, book ones and two and 
absolutely love them. I gave book one five stars, I gave book two four stars. Love, 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 love them. I love the vampire representation in there and just the writing, the battles, especially the book one. Absolutely loved it. Um, it is a slow burn romance and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this novella. So this novella is also a Crowns of Nyaxia novella, which is the name of the whole series. And the series is broken up into smaller little series and duets and novellas and things. And I'm just, I'm just loving it. And I'm just loving all the releases that Carissa Broadban has got going. I think there's about four books at this point. So the Nightborn duet includes The Serpent in the Wings of Night, The Ashes and The Star Cursed King, that's book two. And then the new series is called The Shadowborn Duet, which includes The Songbird and The Heart of Stone. Uh, we don't know what book two is going to be called yet. And then we've got this novella, Six Scotched Roses. So I want to read this one before I read The Songbird and The Heart of Stone. All of these form part of the Crowns of Nyaxia series, which has been a great start for me so far and I can't wait. Um, this one says six roses, six vials of blood, six visits to a vampire who could be her salvation or her damnation. Lilith has been dying since the day she was born, but while she has come to terms with her own imminent death, the death of everyone she loves is an entirely different matter. As her own town slowly withers in the clutches of a mysterious God-sent illness, she decides to take matters into her own hands. Desperate to find a cure, Lilith strikes a bargain with the only thing the gods hate even more than her village, a vampire. She offers him six roses in exchange for six vials of vampire blood. The one hope for her own salvation. That's all I'm going to read for now. There's two other paragraphs that I'm not going to get into. You guys, it's a novella. If I end up reading those two, I'll be like, <laughs> I'm going to know the whole story. But I'm really, really excited to be reading this one. I'm really enjoying Carissa Broadband. The next book that they sent me is a collection of short stories. I'm smiling because I'm already like halfway through and I haven't enjoyed a short story collection as much as I've enjoyed this one in a long time to a point where I think I've written off short story collections and I told myself I don't read short story collections. So when I requested this, I didn't realize that it's a short story collection. I don't know if I would have still requested if I knew, but also it's by an author that I really, really love. After only reading one book, imagine. And that is Olivia Blake, and I'm talking about January's. Look at this beautiful cover as well. It's so stunning. And it is Stories of Love, Magic, and Betrayal. And just as proof that I've already been reading this book, let's try to focus. You can see. You can see I've been tabbing. I have been tabbing because I've enjoyed... Uh, I can, oh man, I've enjoyed this so much. Maybe let me read one or two things that I've tabbed here. So this is from the short story. This is my favorite short story, uh, by the way. It's the first one, it's called The Wish Bridge, right? And you get rules on how to conduct yourself at this wish bridge. So there are three things that you need to choose from, right? It's firstly, um, it says, I can grant you a wish or tell you a truth. So you need to choose one of those, but not both. I can forgive you a sin or permit you a wrong, but not both. And lastly, I can give you something back that you've lost, or I can remove something you wish excised, but not both. And she continues to say, once you choose, you have chosen. Once I speak, I have spoken. There are only three choices. Choose carefully for no matter what you choose, you will almost certainly pay more than you you know and then we meet uh, two characters in here and they teach us essentially what real love looks like and uh, I just want to read one of the lines that the guy said and I was just like oh, swinging so the girl asked a question so she asked what about you I demand you're a wanderer who's been all over the world what are you looking for he stares at me and he answers Myself for a while, he says slowly, and then it was slower. But I think since I met you, I've been looking for you. Oh, and then he says, 
Before he leaves, like, I'll find you again, he tells me, and I can feel his lips move near mine. I can feel the words as they melt into the cold air between us. I promise, he says, no matter what happens, I'll just keep on finding you. And if you know the story, you know what it means. And, like, there was another one that um, spoke of marriage. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I can't, like what <laughs> what i was just taken aback and i'm like wow this is like absolutely remarkable writing i loved i love like every piece of writing that she's got going on here the story is called the house and the way that she explains what marriage looks like it's like going to a new house that you're busy building and throughout this house you need to like move from room to room and as you move from room to room you don't know what to expect you essentially have to accept the person that you're with in the situation that you currently are and work yourself to the next room and oh man the way that she like i'm not even doing it any kind of justice but the way that olivia blake wrote that man it was just so beautiful and i ended up having to like read this whole section for my husband this is like um two and a half pages long but it's so good it's so good and there's another one that i enjoyed the animation games crazy crazy stuff but i guys i'm loving this i love this short story collection so much i am buddy reading this with vuvu which i need to finish when did we say tomorrow i think i need to finish it by tomorrow uh because then we want to have a discussion about everything that's going on in here this um book also has beautiful illustrations like look at that i love how olivia blake always includes illustrations in her her books i love looking at them i don't know if i'm the only one look at that just look at that there's just so many beautiful illustrations in here um, i think the illustrations are at the beginning of each section and each section is separated into seasons so there is spring summer autumn and winter there's another one for you beautiful 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 stuff i'm trying to look for the last one and here's the last one beautiful illustrations but i'm so happy i am so i oh, i've never enjoyed a short story collection so much you guys and you if you guys know i don't do short stories i don't do short stories because I, I feel like i always find myself disappointed and being left with like the feeling of wanting more and that's not the problem here this is amazing this is amazing if you love short stories pick this up if you love interesting like topics on human nature and decisions that people will make pick this up if you're interested in a bit of magic pick this up if you're interested in a bit of like intrigued and like stories of love lots of betrayal in here pick this up man if you know how to read <laughs> pick this up because <laughs> it's such it's just so good um the last book they sent me i picked this up from the office on friday and well last friday pan man pan macmillan okay but this one is the songbird and the heart of stone by carissa broban i'm almost dropping it <laughs> trying to get you to see everything I'm trying to get you to see everything beautiful 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 covers i love that also the spine will fit so well with the other two that i have so i can put all of carissa's books together i love that i love that she's done this this is book one in the shadow born duet also a novel from the crowns of Nyaxia. and this one reads how exciting she says the songbird has talents but what a price she will pay for them mish lost everything when she was <gasps> this is mish's story this is mish's story so mish is a character from the serpent in the wings of night and i really really liked mish but we don't know a lot about her we just know like a glimpse of who she she is but mm, mish mish's story okay okay I'm, I'm only gonna read the first paragraph okay because i want to pick this book very soon 
So it says Mish lost everything when she was forcibly turned into a vampire. Her home, her humanity, and most devastating of all, the love of the sun god to whom she had devoted her life because she was a priestess. Now sentenced to death for murdering the vampire prince who turned her, redemption feels impossible. That's all I'm gonna read. I don't, I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know anymore. I don't wanna know anymore. I'm really, really excited to read this one. I didn't realize that this was Misha's story and it makes me even more excited <laughs> to read this book. So I'm really looking forward to The Songbird and the Heart of Stone. I can never say the titles of these books without looking at them. I, no, I can't. Oh my gosh, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm so excited now. I. I'm really, really excited. But that is the last book that was sent to me by the people at Pan McMillan. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of these books. I am so happy. I am so excited for each and every one of them. Next up, we've got a book that I bought. I want to say two, if not three months ago from Vuvu's website. Vuvu owns an online shop. It's a bookish store with pre-loved, sometimes new books, as well as accessories and merch. So I will link it down below. Please check it out. It is Hive Books at vuvuvenareads.com. Com. I want to say .com, if not .cnz, but I'll confirm. I'll put it on the screen and I'll share the link as well. Um, check it out. So I bought this book from her website. This copy is new, so that's why I said there's pre-loved and there's new books as well. But yeah, I bought a book. It's a book that I've been wanting to pick up for a while. And I've been wanting to also just like show support and appreciation to this author. I've gotten to know them over the months. And if you guys are part of our reading sprints, which also we've got reading sprints this weekend. So starting on Friday on Vuvu's channel, please check us out. She's always in the comments section and I've heard such great things about her books and I'm just like, I need to get on it. So I knew that I was planning on reading the first book in December. So I'm like, Vuvu, <laughs> I need that copy, okay? So this is the package, so cute. First of all, it says, hey Charity, we love to see a well-read queen. Thank you for shopping Hive Books. Isn't that cute? So cute, so, so cute. Um, let's open this up. I like this packaging because it will properly keep the books safe. Let's see, oof, ooh, ooh, and it's a chunker. It's a chunker because the girl can write. But this is a, a trilogy and she's working on a new book or series. And I think that one is gonna be fantasy romance, which I'm so excited for. Um, but I'm talking about the journals of he and this is book one so it's called the beginning and this is by JD he's also known as Jane okay if you know Jane if you've been in our reading sprints you will probably have seen Jane in the comment section she's always there she's always in our reading sprints each month and this is her book you guys this is her book I am so excited to read it this is a romance as you can see and i hear that it's smutty smutty smut 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 okay smut to the highest degree of smut so I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking forward to getting in here. But yes, I got this copy from Google's website. It retails for 300 Rand. I don't know if there's still another copy, but if there isn't, I think exclusive books, exclusive books keeps these books as well. Otherwise, you can check out the author on Instagram and find out where you can get a copy. But I'm so excited. It's a thick one. I'm so excited. At the back, it reads, during a college tour in the city, a freak accident in a campus library leads to a chance encounter between Delia and a handsome stranger. High on painkillers and with no way of reaching him, Delia's chances of reconnecting with the man are dashed until two years later when fate takes her back to the place where they first met. From a quiet little town in the northwest province, Delia is thrust into the color and noise of suburban Johannesburg where she learns to cope with the demands of independent life. A self-professed 
introvert, she realizes that she must open herself up to the adventure of new people and experiences in order to survive the challenges of nursing school. But then, inadvertently, Delia finds her sheltered existence rocked by her own intense curiosity and twisted desires. This is where it gets smutty. Desires which lead her to the mysterious secrets of him and this is why it's called the journals of he you see that he over there that's the he we are talking about the second book is called the continuance and it's also still a, a book in the journals of he the what is the i think the last one is called the end am i co correct in saying the last one is called the end I don't know but obviously this book is set in south africa written by a south african based author which i'm actually like reading okay i don't want to say a lot i read one book <laughs> but i'm reading um a number of south african based authors recently so this makes me really really excited i can't wait to pick up this book in december looking forward to it check out boo boo's website um for her store, her online store called Hive Books. Like I said, I will share the link in the description box down below. That is all the books that I'm hauling this month. I don't foresee me getting any new books unless a publisher surprises me when I'm in the office between tomorrow and Friday. Um, but I wanted to get this video out so that I can find homes for these new books because they've been kind of like wandering around and sitting randomly on the shelves. And now I need to find space, <laughs> which is a forever problem for a book reader and collector. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far in this video, leave me a bird emoji, any bird you can find on your emojis for the songbird and the heart of stone. So by Carissa Broadband, so excited for that one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share your recent purchases or books that you've received in the comments down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.